Now that we're able to get a profile image URL from our API, let's start using it across our, all our components. And we'll start on the edit employer page. And we already started on this a couple of videos back. We got the component created. And now we'll set it up where the user be able to see the image that they're updating. And then when we're done with that, then we're gonna set up the image within the uh, header up here. And that is uh, the second one right here. So we'll make some changes within the header component. And when the user's logged in, they'll be able to see the image on the top right. Uh, we'll start on this one. And here, the auth controller, we're just gonna make a real quick change in there. And if we go to Postman, and here I called it employer to return. But the thing is, is anyone could use this login API, not just the employer, like the employees, the admins, they can all use this API. So I'm gonna change this to user to return. That'd make a little bit more sense. And then we, when we make that change, then we'll go back into our, if I go back here, go back to our auth service and our employer service, make a couple changes in there. And then our image should show up on our edit employer page. Then our auth controller in our API and find the login API. And we'll just make a quick change here from employer to user. And user, this will make a little bit more sense. Save this, and then let's just test our API, make sure we didn't break anything. Open up the uh, command line, reboot the server. So control C up, and we'll just go back to Postman. Okay, that's a lot better. That makes a lot more sense. Now copy that property name, and we'll make that change in our auth server so it reflects this. So copy this, and if we go back to our project, shut this down, and shut this down. We won't be back in the auth controller. And open up uh, control P and look for auth service. Inside the login method, we'll change this now from user to our new property name. And this should work if we save this. And let's check it out in the uh, front end. And I already have the application running. Now we're still, we need, we still need to log in to see the image and we'll be fixing that pretty soon. If we go log out, and log back in. And then close these down. If we go back to our edit page, it should show up. Okay, so that part is working. Now, when we update our image, if I click on this, I select a new image, hit update. It does change the image, but it doesn't swap this out. And the reason is we need to do this inside of our update method where if we go back to here and open up our employer uh, service, we need to do the exact same thing we're doing here, pretty much. So let's open up our employer service and take care of that. So control P and open up the employer service. And then inside the update employer, now we want to set this current user. So this, and we're already pulling in the auth service and the current user, and it's gonna be equal to user dot, and then go back to Postman, open up the, uh, put API and copy this employer to return. And we still want to call it employer to return. The reason is that we're calling the employer API in this case. So I'll just keep the, that name the same. So copy this, go back here, paste that in there. And now it should work when we update our account. So save this, go back here again, and let's uh, log in just to be safe. So log out Log in, and then we'll go to our, our profile page, or edit profile page. So if we uh, add a new image, I'll go use this one now. It updates it. Now that that is done, if we go back to our checklist, let's get it where we could see the uh, profile image in the header. And we'll need to change around these three files to do that. Let's open up the header.ts file, so control P, and then header TS file. And then you want to double check in here inside of your constructor and make sure you're pulling in the all service and also make sure it's public. And this is how we're gonna get access to the current user image URL. Once that is set up, you could uh, close that down and then we'll start in the HTML. So control P, header HTML. And then inside here, we'll find a place to show the image and I'll do it within the LI right above the A tag actually. So let's create a span tag here. And then here's where we'll have our image. 
and then like we're doing here we'll call our all service get access to that current user so all service current user and then the profile image and then I'll also add something here like profile image or something like that and then I'll add a question mark here so if for any reason this doesn't exist then it won't be triggering an error in the console so that so this is optional by adding this question mark okay save this and let's do a test run see if it's uh, showing up so if we go back to the application I already have it running and then for now we need to log in to get the profile images to show up so let's log in one two three four okay so it's showing up that's good and if we go back to our profile page change our change our image to something hit update both the images uh, swap over that's that's great now that that is done let's style it out a little bit so what we'll do is we'll have it where the image goes off to the left we'll have a border radius i'm thinking of adding like a red border to it get it looking a little bit better so if we go back here open up our style sheets Control p and our header component style sheet i'm going to time lapse this because it's all it is is a bunch of css keep in mind the snippet would be down in the description you could just copy and paste it into your project and i'll be back in one second That turned out great. Uh, now then the next thing we need to do is populate this image when the page refreshes. So if we refresh uh, the browser, we lose the image. And the way we could populate this when the browser gets refreshed, if you right click and then inspect, go to application and look into local storage right here. Right now what we're doing is we're storing the token in here, but we could also store like the user in here and then Later on, grab the user's profile image out of that and populate this every time the page refreshes. If we go back to our checklist, the next thing we'll do is we'll display the profile image when the browser refreshes and also if the user is logged in. And we'll need to go into these two files and just change these around to make that happen. Let's do that next. Back inside of our auth servers, we're going to do something very similar to what we did with our token. We're going to do this with our user though this time. So local storage set item and you can call this anything you want I'll call it user and then the difference is we're going to use what's called JSON dot stringify to turn this object into a string and what we want to turn into a string is this right here copy this throw that in here and that's pretty much all we need to do in our auth service now let's set up our app component our main app file so control P and then app dot component there it is then here again we're doing something very similar we'll uh, create a variable called user and we'll grab that user out of local storage and I'll just add that right below here and it would be user local storage and get item and we called it user and then we'll use our interface and we'll set this to a type of user And make sure we pull it in okay and then we're getting this error the reason we're getting this error is because this is a user object and we're getting back a string from here and the way we could fix that is by parsing or using JSON parse so JSON parse and then we'll grab this and throw it inside there cut this out of here paste okay and then now we have that user object and then we could go and assign within our auth service the current user 
So this off off service dot current user equals user. So whenever this page gets refreshed, the browser, this will get set now. And now the image should show up. Now let's do a little bit of housekeeping. So just in case there's not a token or a user. So we'll put these inside of if statement. So I'll add an if statement right here. So if there is a user, then do this. So uh, cut this out again and paste it in here. And then we'll do the same thing for the token as well. So if token and we'll cut this out of here. Okay, that looks a little uh, better. Save this. Now, whenever we refresh the browser, our image should automatically populate. If we go back to the front end again, and let's log in for and log in. As you can see, the user shows up here, and that's good. And then our image shows up up here. And now if we refresh, it should stay. Okay, great. And also in the edit page, if we refresh, that automatically gets populated as well. That's great. If we go back here, now the next thing we need to do is do a little housekeeping. So when the user logs out, we want to clear all that information out of here. We want to clear the token, clear the user, and also reset the current user within the service. And uh, we'll do that next. Let's go back into our header component TS file. And here is our logout method. So when the user clicks on the logout button, we'll go and we'll clear out that user from our local storage and here we'll, we'll wipe that out so if we go back here local storage remove item and we called it user also we'll go into our service and i should have left that open i'll open it again so we'll all service and we'll set these two back to null and clear them out so a little bit of housekeeping so we're already pulling in our auth service this dot auth service and then the current user will set to null. Then also this all service decoded token is also equal to null. Save this. And let's see if we can log out now. If we go back to the browser. And here we still have all the information in here. And if we click on log out, it clears everything out. And also we could take care of this so we don't see this if there's no image. And also there will, they won't be able to view this page when they are not logged in. But let's go ahead and add an if statement here just in case. So if we go back to here, open up the employer component and we'll go inside of the HTML again. And then right inside of this div, we'll use a ng if and then just copy this. So if there's an image, then show that. And get rid of this. And also this, you don't need these in here. Okay, and that should get rid of that. So save this and let's check it out one more time. Okay, so that is gone now. Let's log back in. Our image shows up and then we close these down, we'll go back to the profile page and it shows up. We actually really don't need to do that because they're not gonna be able to view this page if they're logged out, but uh, I'll just add that anyways. Now that this is all done, in the next video we'll uh, stay on this page and we'll change this page around a little bit. We'll add a couple more fields like they'll be able to change their company name and also their email in the next video. So I'll see you then.